ladies and gentlemen of the internet and everyone in between, welcome back to some more Baldur's Gate 3 with me. And of course, Inky Dink here, the Githyanki Warlock. Inky Dink is currently in deep thought. Having a bit of a stretch. Having a bit of a relaxation out by this beautiful waterfall at our camp. Hanging out, overseeing the camp and uh, its goings on. And what we have done in between the last episode and this one is we have, as promised, respect all of our companions. Whoa, hello, tree. And we have what I think done a little bit to improve them. Now, you can be the judge of that. Let me know down in the comments as we go through this. What you like, what you don't like, what you think I should have done differently, or what you think I nailed uh, nailed perfectly. So, let's take a look here. Inky Dink didn't change, so let's take a look at Shadow Fart. Hello, Shadow Fart. Now, she is now a cleric of the Tempest domain. Your faith, your faith has made you the very thunder that quakes the black firmament. The lightning coursing through the veins of a terrible storm. So, uh, what does she get here? Well, anyway, from what I remember, when someone attacks her, she has an opportunity to send lightning surging through their body to damage them. I haven't cleaned up her hotbar after all the stuff we've done here, so this is a little bit out of whack. But it is what it is. Um, so she now has 16 strength, 8 dex, 16 constitution, 8 intelligence, 17 wisdom, and 8 charisma. The reason I have 3 8s is I really wanted to focus her on being a frontline battle cleric. Though, I also took the perk Heavily Armored, which, where is it at? Where am I going to see this? Well, in short, it makes her proficient with Heavy Armor, so she can really be that frontline tank um, and threat on the front line. Didn't change any of this. This all stayed the same. So yeah, there she is. She, um... Yeah, heavily armored. You have armor proficiency with heavy armor, and your strength increases by 1 to a maximum of 20. So I had her strength of 15. And when we took the perk, heavily armored, it just pumped it to 16. I think it's fairly balanced out on what she needs to be that front line battle cleric and we'll see how that works out I'm not entirely sold on it I don't know exactly how it's gonna go but we will find out together all right on to Gale who is now an abjuration wizard okay so the reason I took Abjuration is he now has an Arcane Ward as a passive feature. The residual magic of your spells forms a ward around you that protects you from harm. Each time you cast an Abjuration spell, the intensity of the ward increases by the amount of the spell's level. So we definitely want to start focusing in on Abjuration uh, spells when we start leveling up more. Each time you take damage, the ward blocks an amount of damage equal to its intensity, and its intensity decreases by one. After each long rest, the ward's intensity resets and becomes the same as your wizard's level. Right now, it's going to be a level four arcane ward. All right. So, very good. Uh, he now has eight strength, 16 dexterity. 14 constitution, 18 intelligence, because we did take a perk that uh, uh, it was resilient, I believe it was called. Uh, it gave you a plus one to any stat of your choice, and it made you, it gave you advantage on saving throws 
on that ability. So if anybody tries to you know, cast a spell with an intelligence saving throw, he's probably going to pass it pretty well every time. So, there you go. Uh, Wisdom 10, Charisma 8. Wisdom 10 mainly because there's a lot of spells that happen that require a wisdom saving throw and at least we're not going to have a negative there all right so let me know what you think about those two so far comment section and now down to basil so basil didn't change a whole lot matter of fact she didn't change at all i still got to do that i'll be back when i do that <laughs> Okay, and we are back. We have Respect Basil, and it was fairly simple to do. Um, I did change one thing here in the middle. I'll let you know what that was. We changed from, what was it, uh, Survival. She had a you know, plus two to Survival. I changed that to History because, let's be honest here, Basil is a History buff, as we learned in the last episode. If you haven't checked that out, please do so. And then come back to this one. But uh, yeah, 18 strength now. Because we took Heavy Armor Master, which gives her a plus one to strength. And also reduces any non-magical damage done to her. Uh, reduces it by three while she's wearing Heavy Armor. She's not wearing Heavy Armor right now, but in the near future she should be. Uh, Dexterity 12, Constitution 16, Intelligence Wisdom 10, and Charisma at 9. Because I just had an extra point. It was at 8. And it would have stayed 8 if I could have put that point anywhere else, but I couldn't. So. Yeah. Um, and she is a battle master. We took uh, Disarming Strike. And we took uh, Rally. And we took uh, Parry. Those three as well. So what Parry does, uh, Disarming Strike and Rally... Uh, Disarm strike is pretty self-explanatory. You can attack and try to disarm the, your opponent at the same time. Rally, we've seen that in action. And parry, basically, if anyone attacks Bazel with a melee attack uh, and misses, she gets a free attack in response. Just one time per turn. Um, so there you go. That's Bazel. So again, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about my changes here to the crew. Um, well, in it. I hope you liked it and I uh, hope you think it's going to work out. I think it's going to do okay. Um, the only one I'm really worried about is Shadow Fart, um, mainly because I, I she's got three eights in her stat line. And I'm kind of concerned about that. However, uh, I think really just being that front line... Battle caster, battle cleric is going to be fun. So let's get on with it, shall we? Let's get out of here and get on the road, get on the old trail again. So we left off last episode, the, uh, just say it plainly, the sex episode. We had sex at the beginning, which we weren't a part of. And we, we kind of murdered the two people that were having sex. It's kind of weird like that. And then, um... Lazel officially became Basil, uh, and uh, we ravaged one another. It was great. Uh, unfortunately, nobody's going to get to see that because, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it was. I had the nudity filter turned off, and that's default apparently. So, anyway, we saw these little hyenas over here, and we're like, you know, what's going on down here? And we don't know, so let's go check it out. Find Something out what's happening here. Right through these people. The beast reeks of brimstone and awful. Every breath is thick with blood. Mm. <laughs> He's gonna throw you hear up. What Ugh. comes next before you see it? The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life. At the start of another. Or her baby's Gnomes. like ripping Vicious out of her body. Monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Oh. 
Strike while the beast is vulnerable. This sounds horrible. Okay, we have a, an advantage roll. We have a plus five. And we nailed it. Rolled a nat one, but thankfully we have the advantage here. That was our first roll. Success! You land a swift strike against Ooh. her skull. She yelps. Burp stomp. Still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Well, good. That's what we wanted. It looks like there's four more of them. And then this hyena here. Running away. All right. So let's see here. Hmm. Seventy-five percent. Let's do it. Didn't quite kill it. Down to three HP. We're gonna go ahead and flourish on this one. Damage there. Bazel, how about you nail this guy over here? Oh, whoa, what's that? These are gnolls that are already born and they've got weapons and everything. This guy's eating a guy. Okay. He miss? She must have missed. Okay. So, hmm. Okay. Well then. This sign was running up this way. Maybe it's trying to warn the gnolls. So let's actually use an action surge here. And really try to take this guy out. We got 60% chance. There we go. What we want, switch back to the main weapon here. Oh yeah, we got we got bucket or shovel. Bucket, shovel? Who are you? Shovel. Yes, we have shovel. <laughs> the beautiful closet companion. That we also got last episode. Very beginning. Definitely like that. Let's let's test out our new abilities here, guys. I'm excited. I am excited. Let's do this here. Bring this down here. There we go. Go ahead and keep it simple. For now. 94% chance. Okay, we hit. Only for three damage, though. Okay, we probably only have a certain that amount of time. Listen, Shadow for we've already taken care of that hyena that was making a break for it, okay? We need to get Shadow Fart a really good one-handed weapon. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click on that. Attack! Very nice. Okay. I'm back up. Go ahead and run up here and do a little melee. Ooh, nice crit. One HP left, unfortunately. Take Get Basil down here. That looks suspicious. Yeah. Get rid of this guy. Very good. Hopefully. Oh. Shovel wants to bite him. There we go. Shovel got a kill. Alright, so I think we avoided catastrophe. This hyena wasn't able to warn these up here. We will rip them from top to tail. So how do we want to go about this? Let's stealth up here. Let's get uh 
Let's get Shovel invisible. And let's come around the side here. Yeah, they're all kind of clustered up there. And sneak around. Maybe Gale can drop some really nice spell on them up there when they're eating that body. Go ahead and put it in a turn base mode here. We got three right on top of each other. This looks like a really good cloud of daggers moment. Yes. Look at that. 20, 22, and 20 HP. Does 4 to 16 damage every turn. Basically twice. Because if they're standing in it when their turn ends, they take damage. And when they're standing in it when their turn begins, they take another set of damage. That's twice per turn. Kind of cheaty that way. Go ahead and cloud of daggers these guys and get Gale the hell out of here. Swiftly now. Back down there, buddy. A bit of caution never hurt. Bring Inky Dink up. Oh, he's down to one. Okay. Get on this guy here. I didn't want to knock him out of that. But he is now frightened. Oh, that's what that is. He's frightened. Very nice. He can dig down here as well. I don't fancy their chances. It's stuck there. Oh, I didn't mean to end his turn. I wanted to get some more. What's next, I wonder? Some more damage in before they kind of snapped out of it. We were done. Fleshnar. And Nolfang of Yinogu. Go ahead and drop this on this guy's head. And she's going to stand there. And Basil is going to come up here. And she's going to stand right beside Shadow Fort. to push my luck again and back here allow me to demonstrate those gale all right we got soul numbed oh run through it run through it oh yes best whatever this is cloud of daggers of all time so what's soul numbed Can't take bonus actions or reactions for two turns. That's actually really detrimental. Go ahead and bring Gale in here. Try to do a little bit of damage. I think it's safe to move forward a little bit. Go ahead and bring Yankee Dink in here. Let's get some melee going on. Him. Not bad, not bad. For what he has equipped, that's not bad at all. Okay, okay, get in there, Basil. Finish him off. There you go. There you go. That was nice and easy. Like that. Oh, Gail. Um, turn that off, please. Thank you. All right, let's do a little looting. That was nice and easy lemon squeezy there, huh? Tactics. Am I right? To the good godly folk of Faerun. Wow. Okay. As per my last letter. Dead caravan agent. Nice uh, food on there. Optimus fire shipment orders. Let's read those. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. 
Open it and I will know because you will be dead. <laughs> this is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open the chest in F. Okay. Oh, update. Find the missing shipment. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's two of those little misses. The gate is closed. All right. So we're talking about Baldur's Gate. Dead hyena here. Alright, okay. Cave in there. Alcohol. There's booze in that cave. Hell yeah. Oh, we got a quick save that I didn't do myself, so. It's stealthy here. Well, uh, shovel's still stealthy. What's going on up here? Oh, look at that. That symbol in the blood. What does it mean? I don't know, Basil. What does it mean? Land and Knoll Warlord. There are so many of these guys. What is going on here? Is there another way to sneak around here? Looks like there is. Looks like on the map there's a way back here to kind of sneak around. Which we shall do. Because that looks scary. And granted, the last fight kind of looked scary too, but... Um, it wasn't much of a fight after Gale took care of him, was it? Let's see what we can get done here. So we've got two Hainas, four Knolls, and one Knoll Warlord. I think we take these guys out. Right down here. Kind of the same way we just did back there. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Gail, you're up. Turn base it. Go ahead and get another cloud of daggers. It's going to use another level two spell slot. That's okay. Try to get all three, which is right there. Beautiful. Oh, they're surprised. That's what we'd like to see. Get, uh, let's get her right there. Look at that. She can walk right up on him. She's going to curse them. That was too far. He's not going to curse them. She's going to hit this guy. And he's not in it. It showed me that he was going to be in it. Go ahead and whack him. There we go. Go ahead and bring Basil up here. Same place. Give him a good chop. No thing of you. You know, goo. The same guy that was down there earlier. Maybe we chop him. He looks scarier. He's in the he's in the dagger. I think it'll be okay to let him stand there. Finally, Inky Dink, this trusty companion uh, and bucket. I don't want to knock these guys out like I did the other one, so I'm gonna move up here a little bit further. one of these. Oh, nice hit there. 
Gale, you can do something else. So come on over here. Go ahead and what? Let's go ahead and. He's wearing the poison robe, right? Poison damage, he gets a bonus one one to four. Throw this out here. Not enough movement. Really? Because he's right there. Yeah, he's right there, dude. Oh, nice. That was a lot of damage, actually. Okay, we've got Misty Step to cover ourselves. He is cooked. All right, they're still surprised. This is excellent. He's gonna be done for. So try to avoid, are you gonna avoid the daggers here? Yes, you are. She doesn't have movement, okay. Or she doesn't have an action. Gotcha. Alright, that's three down before the fight really even begins. Oh, that wasn't Basil, that was Inky Dink. Oh no! Let's definitely rally him. He's not supposed to be the front line. He's supposed to come in and Kind of go wild after the fact. Let's bring Bazel up here to sort of be a target. Man, that I really messed that up, huh? Can't afford to let up. Gil could turn this off right now, but he's out of movements. Let's bring out. These guys resisted any type of damage. Not really. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go and bring out the halberd. This guy. This guy right in front of him. Guess we'll stay there. Oh, nice. Halberd gets to go. Not so nice. It completely missed. And the gnolls are saying, but it's my turn now. Oh, he didn't go in there. Right, let's let's turn this off. It's not doing us any good. It's kind of blocking our way. Let's go ahead and do one of these guys. Hopefully he'll fall over. He did. Missed the damage, but he did he did fall prone. Kind of what we wanted here. Shovel. You can get in here, buddy. Just kinda. You know what? You can just kinda do one of these. 40%. Oh, he's almost dead. Uh let's focus on this guy. 40% chance to frighten him. Scare. Didn't work. Okay, they finally get their first turn. I think we've done a lot of work here. I think we did pretty good. I do say so myself. That first couple of turns, pretty nice. Going after the shovel. Oh, he died from the uh, the poison. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we got ran up here bit of a problem. Oh, I just have disadvantage because I'm in melee range of this guy. That's 85 HP. Okay. Gotcha. Let's blind 
Flynn here. That did not work at all. Why did that not even... He didn't even make a saving throw. It's just like, okay, that didn't even happen. That sucked. Oh yeah, stand in the, uh, the acid. We like that. Let's try a disarming attack. We haven't really done one of those ever. Ooh, saved on it. Okay, let's go ahead and rally who? Shadow fart? Yeah, that'd be good. She can't rally herself, only allies. It's okay, I guess. Alright, we're stuck on this guy. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Fix up Shadow Fart's stuff. Put a curse on these guys. Oh, Flynn did not get baned, but these two did. You're gonna have a disadvantage on their attack rolls, saving throws, all that good stuff. Ooh, even on a miss, five damage. Yeah, we gotta do something here. Keep it simple for now. We are whittling through that health bar, but not if Gale misses every shot. Ooh. Okay. Get him. Well, that wasn't right. Okay. Alright. Definitely need better weaponry for pretty much everybody except Bazel. And Gale. He doesn't really need a weapon upgrade, but... It'd be nice to get a staff with some... Some little bonuses on it, maybe. Be nice. Let's try this disarming attack again. We really need to get that weapon out of his hand. That did not work at all. <laughs> Unfortunate. I get a bleed on this uh, null flesh gnawler, and it did not work. Let's finish this. Okay. Anybody in dire straits? Not really. Oh. You hit me, I hit you. Oh no. We should have hit him with um Bone Chill. Oh man. Now I think we really have to bring out the big guns. We just have to get guaranteed damage on this this null warlord. That guy's got some crazy high ground. Oh, whoa! Three attacks. When did that happen? Well, so much for peace. Three attacks, bro. Mirror image. Do a little sidearm attack. Miss again. Perfect. Good job. Good job, Bucket. Shovel. Shovel. Good job, Shovel. I don't know why I keep calling him Bucket. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Critical miss is not what we're looking for, Bazel. Not what we're looking for. There, we got a hit. One HP. Come on, hit. Hard enough. Drop the heal. Take two. Oh. oh, paralyzed. Alrighty then. Do HP. We can do this. There we go. There we go. And we got the triple shot guys up there. What the hell's going on here? Wow, shovel with another kill under his belt. You gotta be loving that. Never a dull moment. Okay. 
Got him. He's down. Another step forward. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. Doing the triple attack again. Uh, Gale can get you up. Basil's got to get up here right now. You got to get up here right now. Get him in disadvantage mode from being somebody being in his face. Oh, critical miss. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> that was so awesome. There's, there's just no getting around that fact. That shovel can jump up here and slice him a little bit. Or not. Okay. That's a-okay. Alright. I don't think that's going to help at all. Uh, let's try to hurt this guy a lot. Okay, got you. That's a, that's a big negative on that. I got it. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, thank goodness. Again, shovel claw. Seven damage. Nice. All right, Basil. Get up here. Yes, you can get up there. Look at that. Boom. How you like me now, gold teeth, when I smile? Boy, I just, I just dated myself, didn't I? Wow. Look, you don't need to, you don't need to know that. It's fine. All you need to know is, I always found that line amusing. In that in that uh, in that song, fifty-five percent. Get him, yes, sir. By the gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? No, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen roads more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen. You look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Mm. Okay. Let's see here. What's in the chest? Your cargo? Aye, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Taranths. Taranths are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. See, I see. You're the you're Zentarim. Your people don't deal in baubles. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lass like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. See here. I wish Inky Dink was in this conversation. Like, why are they talking to all... Inky Dink's servants, if not slaves, okay? Come on now. Alright, leave. We'll just leave. 
Annoying. Well, action, not reaction. Annoying. Securing. Let's go ahead and loot it up. Lots of stuff in here that we're not allowed to touch. What are you doing out here? Bro, are you taking my loot? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. That might be a weapon for Inky Dink there, I saw. Without delay. I spotted. Spied with my little eye. Something of note. And value. And as we know, Inky Dink appreciates value. The way he's kept these slaves alive as long as he has. They have value to him at the moment. Is that blood? No, never right, mind. What do we got here? Speedy reply. Four to nine, same as the short sword. Oh, no, we're no, we're selecting Inky Dink. Okay. When the wielder hits an enemy with this weapon, they gain momentum for two turns. Very nice indeed. We shall take that and put that in our offhand. Might as well let somebody wear that. Since Gail can't uh, uh, slurp it down, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> okay, Shattered Flail. Two to seven damage. Inogu's gift. Hitting an enemy, enemy with this weapon heals the wielder for one to six hit points, but they can go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. Wow. Well, we've kind of built Shadowfart to be in the front line smacking people, so let's try it and see what happens. I like the look of that. It's just basically a bunch of bones wrapped together. But heal for one to six hit points each time you hit somebody. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, I like that. Yes. I enjoy that very much. Thank you. Well, good. Good, good, good. What's in here? That must be what they're guarding. Have to keep going. Yeah, come on, shovel. What's going on here? Booze, I like that. Lock trunk here. You can think, and Gale are kind of tied for dexterity, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Oh, it's only a DC five. I think we got this. Oh yeah. Too high. What do you mean too high? How am I gonna get out of here? Oh, right. Wow, right there. Ooh, boy. Come on, shovel. Can you make it? I think you can make it. Let's see if shovel can make it here. Where was that at? It was like right here, huh? Oh, 
space. Oh, thought for a second. Shovel no, <laughs> shovel no. It's okay. No, don't, don't panic. We can just bring him back. It's fine. <laughs> I can hear people right now. Why this shovel? You monster. Well, we are talking about Inky Dink after all. We just failed a perception check over here. I'm fine. So is the chest. So that's disconcerting. I think what I want to do is um, go over this way. Hmm. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. DC ten now. We barely got that one, but we got it. Reasons grasp. Ever vigilant, when the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. So, barbarian gloves there. Okay. Um, as it so happens, there is a trap right about there. So, if you do what I just did, you kind of come around this way and stand right about here. You just don't trigger it. It's kind of cheaty, but. I failed the perception check and I didn't feel like bringing anybody else up here. So we do what we gotta do, you know? Need to find a way forward. And that's all there is to it. And so's the chest, more importantly. Plenty of booze in here. Not bad for equipment. We will take it. That looks like an explosion waiting to happen. Yeah, fire wine barrels everywhere. Alcohol everywhere. A little bit of fire. Oh, what is that? The giant boulder sitting there on this, like ledge thing wouldn't support right up there I wonder what's down there though if there's any like secret uh, loot try to find out <clears throat> looks rather rickety What would happen if I shoot this thing? I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're looks like I can. I was gonna shoot that out, but looks like this is it. Oh, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, baby. Let's get going. Right on. Dating myself again. That's a great movie, though. You know, if you had never seen that, you, you really need to. So good. Backpack over there. Well, how am I supposed to get over there? If I have Misty Step, I don't think I do on this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Forgot about that. Um... Oh, get the Yankee Cyanix jump. Yeah, once per long rest, we can just 
Go wild. That. Two, that. Because it is on a timer. It's a 10 turn timer. Well, honestly, I'm glad I didn't use that up there. Did find a way out. But at the same time. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Um. We wouldn't have it for that, but there was really nothing in that crate anyway, so we wouldn't be missing much. I've got a long road ahead. But I don't know that, you know? I don't know that. So we gotta try, through. you know? Jumpy jump before it runs out. There we go. Okay. Well, that was interesting at least. What else we got going on here? He was heading to some place, I assume close by, I don't know. El Terrell is where they said they came from, right? If anybody's a lore master of this uh, Baldur's Gate, let me know what El Terrell is. Where's is that something that you recognize from a book or a previous game? I mean, I've played Baldur's Gate one and two in the past, but it's been so long, man. It's just been so long that I don't remember much of anything about them. So I'm just not the right person to. Think about lore, if I'm being honest. I just don't remember. If it's not like something that, I, that I'm super interested in. I mean, I'm interested in Baldur's Gate. And I was back then as well. Games were out before. But, you know, it's it's not. it wasn't like important information. Right? So I just kind of flushed it. My brain does that. It just flushes information if it's irrelevant to my everyday life. All right, let me get this pouch. Give me a drink. My throat is dry. What episode is this? Is this episode eight? I think it is. Alright, we've come up on somewhere. Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, El Terrell. East, El Terrell. El Terrell's this way. Hmm. And west is Baldur's Gate. Okay. Well, let's quick save just in case uh, something crazy is going on in here. We get wiped. Oh, dead Drow Raider, Flaming Fist, Jackick. Okay. First recruit, Efren. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Looks like he wasn't cut out for this line of work. Only a coward would speak ill of the fallen. Would that the arrow had pierced <laughs> your heart instead. Wow. What the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please just leave me be. Okay. Well, we're running in on something here, and we're about an hour into recording, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, probably do a little short rest um, at the beginning of next episode, or maybe right now, before I forget. Do one of those. Give it another save. And, you know what? Um, Inky Dink and crew, we'll see you next time. This looks like... All hell has broken loose here. Looks like a raid that went uh, really overboard. 
burning the place to the ground. Everybody's throwing water everywhere. There's dead people everywhere. So this will be exciting. We're going to see what's going on here at Joaquin's Rest. And Ikidink is going to explore this place, investigate, see what's going on. And if he can gain any kind of advantages from, from this area. That's really all he's looking for is, is what can this place do to advance my ultimate goal of power. And if it can't, then we're probably not going to stay too long because it'll be a waste of Inky Dink's time. Very valuable time. Speaking of valuable time, I want to thank you very much for spending your very valuable time here with me on the channel. Checking out this episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I really appreciate it. And if you could, just drop a like and a comment down below. Those two things right there really help the small content creators like myself uh, to spread their videos out to a wider audience that normally would never see the video pop up on their suggested or whatever uh, on the platform. So not just for myself, but any of the other smaller content creators that you really enjoy. Consider doing that because it really does help out and uh, you would not believe uh, the enjoyment that I get out of reading the comments and responding to them. So uh, if you wouldn't mind terribly, if you don't want to do that, then just fine. Um, just watching the video is enough for me. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye.